so I know I said some things. I made some promises, some commitments, and I didn't exactly live up to those expectations. I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, I mean, there's, there's no need to rehash what I said. I think we all know exactly what I said. 2020, we're going to keep it rocking. Um, 110% every video, man. That's that mama mentality. And if I were you, I'd probably, right now, looking at me, I'd probably be saying something along the lines of this. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? But that's not why we're here today. <laughs> that's not why we're here today. In fact, I got a, I got a quote for you guys. I, I, it's from Frederick Nietzsche, and it says... The future influences the present just as much as the past. So my interpretation of it is whatever it is that you envision yourself being has a great influence on what you do today. So if you see yourself being a doctor, if you see yourself being a lawyer, you see yourself being an actor or an actress or whatever, you need to first be able to see that in order to do the necessary things in the current moment to move towards it. If you don't see those things as possibilities for yourself, then you'll never you'll never get to that point. And so it has just as much influence on you today, your thoughts for the future as whatever past mistakes or successes that you've had. There's something I want to show you guys. There's something I'm excited about. I want to show you guys that I think is going to be really, really good for the productivity um, moving forward and. I'm just excited to show you guys. So let's not waste any more time. <laughs> let's focus on the future. Let's not dwell on the past. Let's leave all that stuff alone. You know, let's leave all that stuff alone. No need to rehash old things. Let's move forward. The future is bright. So take a walk with me. I got something I want to show you. Here it is, everybody. My workspace area that I'm really, really excited to show you guys. Um, it's, it's not complete. It's not complete, but... It is good enough for me to show you guys what I am up to. On the left-hand side, we have the iMac 27-inch. And you can see here with the matching white peripherals. And towards the middle, we have a dual monitor setup. 24-inch HP, 27-inch Acer. Right on top, what I'm using for my webcam is the Canon 5D Mark IV. And as you can see here, have some RGB keyboard and mouse with the stream deck over there as well. And as you can see there, the hard to find ever elusive PS5. Yeah, yeah, I got one. And this right here, oh, I'm so excited about my very first PC build. Shout out to my homeboy who helped me get a lot of these parts that are very hard to find. As you can see, it's rocking the RTX 3090 NZXT cooler. We also have a lot of RGB fans in there. And I know what you're thinking, why all the RGB? And that's because RGB makes the performance better. That's why, kids. And over here, we have on my wall, we have a couple lenses, a few cameras, GoPro. Right up here, we have a Nintendo Switch along with a Tom Ford candle. And let me tell you something, that Tuscan leather, oh, so good, so good. Man, pick it up, pick it up. And then over here we have the wall, okay? Couple books, couple things, couple trinkets, stuff that, I, you know, I'm just, just to fill up the space. Um, again, it'll probably be changing a lot over time. Shout out to the Black Mamba. Shout out to the Godfather movie, love that movie. So just a couple things here. And over here, we have a painting that I picked up that I thought just looked pretty cool. I like the white and just some of the random colors. I thought it looked great on the wall. So I'm sure you guys have heard the saying before, you are the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with, or that you are a product of your environment. Now, I'm sure many of you over the last year, little over a year and a half or so, have had to work from home. And you probably hate that area of your home that has now become your workspace. Well, for content creators, 
there's a lot that goes into the process of creating content, not just what you do in front of the camera, but what goes on behind the camera. And it can be very, very mundane, very boring. When you have to do editing and editing can last hours, you go from Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve to Photoshop to Lightroom to audition, you know, making sure that the sound is right. There's a lot that goes into this process. And so you want to make sure that that part of the process that nobody really sees, you want to make sure that it's enjoyable for you. And so for me, I wanted to make sure I created an environment where when I'm editing or if I'm live streaming or whatever have you, that I'm excited to be in that area, right? Like I look forward to being in that area. And like right now for me, it feels like when I go now and I sit in that corner and I'm doing what I'm doing, I feel like I'm in a studio or something. Like, like I feel like, I don't know, Dr. Dre or something. And you just, you got all these tools at your disposal to help you create you know, the thing that you want to create. Because for a lot of content creators, and not just content creators, but just people in general, we're like artists. Like you're an artist to your life. You have a blank canvas, you have all the tools you need, right? And you want to be able to create a masterpiece, just like you do in your life. You want to make sure that you can create this vision that you may have for yourself. And in order to do that, you have to be able to put together you know, resources and be able to use these things at your disposal. And so for me, what I wanted to make sure is that for one, I invest in my environment. I invest in the things that I'm passionate about. And I hope you guys take that away from this video that you should be willing to invest in the things that you ultimately want to do because it's your vision and nobody's supposed to want it and nobody's going to want it more than you. So you can't be worried about what other people might think on whether you're putting too much time or effort or too much money into what it is that you're trying to do and maybe you're not getting anything back. Look, everything takes time. Everything takes time. But nothing is going to happen if you don't put your best foot forward. And so for me, I want to make sure that I invest in my passion. I invest in the things that I enjoy and that I put my best foot forward. So me creating this environment and just kind of showing you guys, it's just me saying, hey, look, I'm invested. I'm invested in this. You know, I want this to work and, you know, I want this to be enjoyable for those watching as well as myself who's creating it. So hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from with that. And I hope you guys, you know, like what I showed you. It's definitely not finished. It's not a finished product yet. It's going to be an ongoing process. I'm going to continue to add to that space. But I just wanted to share with you guys because I do have some things coming up. There's going to be a lot more live streaming going on on this on, on my end because I really think that's really where YouTube is moving towards. And also what's cool about uh, the live streaming piece is that you don't have to focus too much on the editing. You know, you just you go live, you say what you need to say, you do what you need to do. And for the most part, that's it. You know, it goes right to you guys. And there's more engagement as well. So I'm definitely going to be doing that as well as I'm going to be on Twitch, live streaming there, doing a bit of gaming. So if you're into that, definitely check me out over there. It's built for anything. Like I said, across all platforms, it's built for anything. So it's easy to remember, easy to find me. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to be hitting you guys with updates, hitting you guys with some other things that um, I have planned for this channel. So just thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for those that are still subscribed. I appreciate you guys. And I look forward to the future. I look forward to, to many, many good things to come. So stay tuned. Peace.